Welcome, uh, this is Monty. Welcome uh, back again. This is Monty from DPL Surveillance Equipment. Um, we had to do an emergency podcast, believe it or not. Um, again, my name is Monty Henry, owner of DPL Surveillance Equipment. We're a full service surveillance and security equipment company. We have lifetime guarantees and warranties in all the products. We have 24 7, 365 tech sales and customer support. We have perhaps the largest inventory of items that not only can you buy, but you can rent and lay away as well. And we have the largest inventory of uh, uh, used products or formerly rented products. They were formerly rented out, now they're used. And you can buy them at deep discounts. And also, you can lay away these products. Uh, you can learn about surveillance, learn about counter surveillance. Uh, peruse the articles, directories, uh, learn about all sorts of neat health-related things, uh, some economic-related articles that I wrote up, Bitcoin-related articles that I wrote up. Uh, listen to, look at the videos, rather, on uh, the different top different topics as well. Listen to the podcast and read the blogs. Um, we, we have a redesigned, revamped website, all sorts of neat spy gadgets, state-of-the-art, uh, hidden cameras, or inter- internet-based cameras, bug detectors, anti-terrorist products, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and we are we're going to be doing Bitcoin, you guys. We're going to be doing Bitcoin only, uh, primarily for our transactions. Uh, we're going to put the major emphasis on Bitcoin. So we're going to be saying goodbye to credit cards <laughs> sooner or later, at some point. No more Visa. No more Mastercard. No more arguing about chargebacks. No more excessive uh, discount settlement, service charges, miscellaneous fees tacked on to each and every transaction. We're gonna totally get out of that system, and, and we're gonna we're gonna be doing cryptos. Use your Bitcoin. Use your Ethereum. Use your Litecoin. And save a ton of money. Because we're going to save a lot of money. And we'll be able to pass along those savings to you guys. And we'll do away with these credit card abusers. And these scam artists called credit card issuers. And and, and those companies. Including the banks. Well this particular um, session. uh, Focuses on something else. Entirely different. Uh, I'm just reading that the NRA. Which I never really did like anyway. Mainly because. They pour so much money into Washington lobbying the politicians that the politicians can't make a single decision without considering whether or not this is good for the NRA or not. In other words, these gun-toting um, uh, the, 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 I mean, I don't know, I just I don't know how to put it. The, the NRA and, and a lot of those members are so afraid of their shadows that they have to use guns every time they go out to breakfast, lunch, or dinner, to church, anywhere, synagogue. They have to have a gun. They're training 10-year-olds to use guns. They're training, who knows what's next, dogs or cats to use guns. Everything, you know, don't, everything is resolved with, everything is solved by having a gun, <laughs> And I, I don't I don't believe it. I think I can't believe it. I think, you know, society would be better off with less guns. More people who can figure out how to use their fists or even a knife, but to shoot each other down with A K forty sevens and military assault weapons and all of that is, is insane. Anyway, you know, so so much for the mass shootings hopefully going forward as we eliminate more and more of the ability to carry around these dangerous weapons with these mentally uh, incapacitated idiots running around here, delusional, off medication or something, or, or they just get the impression that after a few drinks or whatever, uh, you know, l- let's resort to gun violence first and let's think about it second, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, the gist of this is kind of interesting. Uh, looks like Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, put so much pressure on the NRA um, telling... Um, the, the various banks and partners and insurance companies that you know you you you, you guys you gonna you gonna put your own businesses in jeopardy if you do business with the NRA, 
And believe it or not, a lot of banks and a lot of insurance companies, they listened to Andrew Cuomo and they said, okay, uh, in that case, we'll pull back, we'll sever our relationships with the NRA. And they canceled, believe it or not, policy, insurance policies were canceled. Banking services were canceled. Partnerships were canceled. And see, the NRA exposes themselves to a lot of liability on a daily basis with the NRA TV and the, and the newspapers and the magazines and the websites to promote their agenda of, of uh, shoot first and think later. Um, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of these companies actually started backing down and severing those relationships, severing those ties, um, agreeing with Andrew Cuomo that, the, oh, Andrew, Andrew Cuomo, that, that you know, this maybe, it maybe is a bad idea to associate with the NRA. And now, well, just as an example, the NRA, um, because they were running out of money and they knew, they, they, they knew they were running out of money, they still managed to overspend by $46 million in 2016. So they've been trying their best, even though they know that they were running out of funds, they still spent tons of money to do this last-ditch effort um, to somehow get members, get funds, and, pre- and, and pretend like everything is all as well when they knew, in fact, it wasn't. So anyway, that now they're deeply in debt. Um, very little opportunity to separate themselves from the risk and liability associated with um, covering their members and, and, and partners when it comes to um, using weapons and defending themselves in lawsuits, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That takes a lot of money on an ongoing basis when, when everything is evolved around shooting uh, and, 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 and using weapons um, and, and, and a lot of times in, in manners that are irresponsible. Uh, so, they, so anyway, they took on a lot of liability. And they had a lot of insurance in place prior to Andrew Cuomo coming down on them. You know, that insurance protected them. You know, they had blanket coverages for all these things. But now they don't, they, they, they seem to be sort of like um, completely naked and exposed, so to speak, uh, to all, poten- all sorts of potential liabilities. Not to mention, they don't even have access to much funding at all because the banks are shying away. You know, the banking industry, they don't, they don't like things that threaten their banking charters. When you get a federal charter or a state charter to run a bank, you don't want to do anything <laughs> to sever that relationship with the government. You know, the last thing you want to do is lose your banking license. So anyway, um, now a lot of banks have uh, canceled their relationships with the NRA. So the NRA can't even get access to mo- monies and funds deposited into those bank accounts. So anyway, this seems to be real. I didn't believe it. And you can follow up on it and double check and triple check also. But I've checked a few sources and it looks like as of six hours ago, the NRA is telling the whole world that they are in jeopardy of, of not being able to exist very much longer. And they're pretty much going to be out of business. So... Uh, we just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention and let you do further research and absorb, as we all try, try to absorb and digest, how significant this is. Because I signed plenty of petitions with Change.org and other organizations to try and figure out how do we dismantle the NRA, you know, because when you buy and sell politicians, um, those guys listen to the money. I mean, money talks in Washington and, you know, the little guys such as all the children in Columbine and all of these other schools, you, you name it, uh, where these children get mowed down uh, 50, 100 at a time. You know, we had no, no, no capability of doing anything about it. But it looks like all of the patience, all of the hard work, all of the diligence, all the lives, all the blood, we're finally getting what we asked for one way or the other. So hopefully this will be a, a, a shot over the bow of other organizations that are going to pursue that type of agenda that the NRA was pursuing. So anyway, let's uh, raise our uh, glasses and give a toast and a pat on the back to all the people who signed the petitions, all the people who uh, unfortunately had to endure losing loved ones and such and protesting and flying around the country being an advocate for gun control. 
and, and, and trying to keep this stuff um, uh, from, from uh, causing any more loss of lives or, and, and for, uh, for those people who got mowed down from these idiots running around with guns and, 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 and very little concern for human life. So anyway, as I always say, at the conclusion, uh, at, at, at the end of each and every podcast, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and stay safe out there. And cheers.